cooking with Connor. Need something a little different here. I'm going to do a cooking segment. Cooking with Connor. So, we've got fig snout. Two of them. A little bit of hair still on this one. Once we've boiled it from anywhere from 15 minutes to half an hour, we're going to take them out and we're going to get them ready for the barbecue. I'm just going to toss in a little seasoning in the water too. I'm going to toss a good scoop of uh, Crazy Cunner Spice Blend. This little piggy went to market. This little piggy should have stayed home. Now we're going to turn that down to about medium. And we're going to set our timer. Now I'm going to set my timer for 20 minutes and uh, put a lid on this and come right back. Okay, so this was on for about 15 minutes and here we got this big snout. First we're going to toss a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil on this. Okay, drill nice and hot. Let's throw these bad boys right on it. We got swine apple. It's a sweet and mild rib grit glaze, but we're going to use it on the snouts here. Get it right in there. No. Now again, we're using swine apple, sweet and mild rib glaze. Those eat high on the hog. It's uh, Lynchburg, Tennessee whiskey style sauce. And that's really good. So now that you've seen the process of cooking pig snout, we shall sample said pig snout. Break. We should sample said pig snout. Now I don't think this goes with my diet since uh, I can't see it being that healthy. I think it's very fatty, but uh, hang on, there's a little hair still in it. Can't see them though. Should have shaved it first I guess.
kind of has a similar flavor actually to bacon. It's a bit of, um, hmm, it's a good flavor though. And there's a, uh, again, the swine apple. Uh, it's so good. Not spicy sauce. It's just a all around great sauce. But um, yeah, so that's how you do uh, a pig snout.